one of the things we've heard loud and clear this year from those companies is a change in the role of the supply chain, moving away from a cost of doing business to, in many instances, their competitive weapon. Mm. It is the way they will differentiate themselves in the market. And I can't think of a better time to be in the supply chain with that change going on. I mean, the consumer is more empowered than they've ever been, thanks to, our, again, our friends mm. at Amazon, right? Well, so. And it's, it's even more than that. It's now personalization, right? It is, yes. It's the batch of one. That's good. Did you trademark that? You <laughs> Not <should>. yet. Yeah, <laughs> you, you really are you, should. Are you doing that right now? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm actually on the web. <laughs> <laughs> what we try to do at CAP is we have a lot of industry experience, and we bring that industry experience into our clients to help you know, walk them through how they're going to get from point A to point B. It's a huge help for them. Every time I hear about AI, it just seems that it's moving faster and faster to us. There was a time where I never thought I'd be working with it in my career. Not only use the predictive side of it, but to actually begin to use robotic process automation, machine learning, etc., to really get after those low value added, very tactical type of actions and be able to redeploy our workforce into the analytics, into how do we get better, and of course, in the end, how to become more profitable. The reason I'm in supply chain is because I love creating things and I love mm. working with people. And I think if that's what you want to do, come on down mm. because it doesn't matter who you are or what you are, come on down because right. you get that delivered every single day.